Okay, well, um, you ask about uh, coming up with some kind of an adapter plate system to attach a, a manual Craig-like clamp to the sliding table on a Felder machine. So I did a little modeling here. Um, first thing I did was uh, go out and find this clamp. I don't actually own one of these things. Uh, this looks to me to be like a, one of the self-adjusting, uh, kind of like vice grip clamps, only it's self-adjusting with a spring in it that provides a certain amount of clamping pressure. Uh, it's got a screw on the bottom with a big knob on the end that um, slots into a bench plate normally. <clears throat> I actually have... A system like this, I don't think it's Craig because I don't particularly like Craig as a company, but I do use a system like this on the bench for aligning face frames before I screw them together. Um, it comes in uh, a six inch for about 50 bucks and a three inch for 45. Um, so here, here's what I came up with. Uh, I, I brought the picture in since I don't have one and I can't find an online 3D model of this thing. Anyway, I brought this in uh, just as a canvas to work with. It's properly sized uh, relative to the other things I'm going to show you here. Uh, so there's, um, there's a Felder sliding table extrusion. Uh, you can see how it would sort of fit on there from a size standpoint. Um, so I came up with a clamping plate that's uh, got a little tab here on the bottom so it stays aligned in the T-slot. Uh, presents the same kind of hook clamp thing for the Craig clamp to latch onto as their bench plate. Um, Obviously, once this clamp is dropped in there, pushed forward, it can rotate around in any direction. Um, and then we need a way to secure this plate onto the sliding table so it doesn't move around. So here's a T-nut to go with it. And then uh, we need some kind of clamping mechanism. Uh, this would be my idea of what that would be. This is a an adjustable lever, kip lever style thing. Um, so with this, this clamp can latch off of this so that lever can rotate around fully um, to get this thing on and off the sliding table or you could take it off from the end I suppose. Another alternative here would be something like a lobed knob here. Um, anyway, that gives you kind of an idea of w what I came up with and have in mind. Um, obviously, this kip lever thing, is you're going to be able to secure that tighter to the sliding table than with any kind of lobed knob. So just for grins, I... Um, put this um, the clamping uh, base plate here just this this thing um, in dosometry uh, to see what it would cost to have it outsource machine and here we go so for a quantity of one in 7075 T6 aluminum which is aircraft aluminum grade. It's a very hard uh, alloy of aluminum. Um, they're, they're looking for 260 bucks quantity one. Um, for quantity 10, it comes down to $96 each. For quantity 25, it comes down to 60 bucks each. Uh, you know, if you wanted it fancy hard coat anodized like the Felder sliding tables are, the price goes up about 20 bucks, something like that. Anyway, um, and that's what I came up with. Um, let me know your thoughts about this, okay? Thanks.